Uh, we got some good news here. Grab your popcorn. One of the most iconic movie theaters in our area. It just got a really impressive upgrade. We're talking about the beloved Coolidge Corner Theater in Brookline. NBC 10's Manash Kwangwari shows us the transformation happening to this historic venue. It's a project that required 10 years of planning, more than $12 million in roughly two years of construction. On Wednesday, the new look Coolidge Corner Theater officially opening to the public. It's always been part of our mission to inform as well as entertain, uh, but this really takes it to another level. Director of Special Programming Mark Anastasio says this project was needed as it finally brings the place which was built in the 1930s into the 21st century by creating 14,000 square feet of additional space to make way for two new state-of-the-art theaters and a new community education and engagement center. I'm going to be a student coming into next year, so I think that like having extra study spaces like that and like a hangout spot is totally great. Um, and I think just creating more spaces for the community to come together is always a great idea. The renovation also included adding a new entrance, lobby and concessions area, which is a change to what many people like Aran Segev grew up seeing. Back in the 80s when I was 9 or 10 years old, I remember it when it still had the facade in the front. But leaders say don't worry. The historic theaters inside have little to no changes as this project was meant to combine the new with the old to make sure everyone feels welcome. It's great that they are doing really well and able to give back even more to the community. I'm looking forward to seeing the, the new space. Well, the two movies that will be shown first on the two new screens inside the two new theaters there are The Wizard of Oz and A Space Odyssey. Both will have multiple show times. We have all that information attached to this web story on our website. Reporting in Brookline, Manash Kongwari, NBC10 Boston.